Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new unboxing, but not an Amazon unboxing. This, I believe I know what this is, and if it is what I think it is, I'm super excited. So, but before I continue explaining, let's just open the package and see if this is what I think it is. Because if this is what I think it is, I'm going to be very happy that I got it because I ordered this last year and uh, a similar one. And if I didn't get it, but it wasn't the company's fault. So this is really hard to open, but let's see what it is. I think I know. Yeah, it is. Check this out, you guys. I'm so excited. So as some of you may know, if you watch my channel or other channels, it is World Watercolor Month. And I ordered this really pretty um, bag to keep some of my art supplies in. It's like a big pencil bag. It comes in two sizes. I decided to get the large one because I, I'm always keeping piles of stuff next to me. And I thought this would be a nice, pretty way to keep it during World Watercolor Month. So this is a bag that was designed by um, the artist Diane Antone. And Diane has a YouTube channel, so check her out. It's called Diane Antone Studio. You can see her name right here. And um, this is her style. Isn't that pretty? I would love to be able to paint in this style. When I do it, it doesn't look good. When she does it, it's amazing and beautiful. So it's on both sides. And this is a really, really nice size. Hang on one second. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to bring this up on my computer to tell you the size, but it just says large, and it doesn't give you the dimensions. So I grab my trusty little dollar store ruler, and as you can see, it's exactly the length of my ruler. So that is 12 inches for American people and 30 centimeters for the rest of the world. And I still think in inches, too, because Canada used to be imperial, and they switched over to metric when I was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 years old. So I still think in both. And this way, it is, depending on how I start it, let's see, eight and a half inches wide. which is almost 21 centimeters long. All right, so this was $14.99 American. I'm not sure what that was in Canadian, more. And it comes with a nice sturdy zipper. Um, there's, I'm just gonna cut this string off. There's a little string and I don't want it to get cut in the zipper. That happen sometimes when you're sewing. It's easy to get little stray threads. Anyway, it doesn't take away from the value of this. I'll just have to get that later. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy if I don't get it. Okay. Got rid of the string. Isn't that pretty? And here's what it looks like on the inside. The zipper is nice and sturdy, and there's lots of room. So let me just grab some items next to me. Give me one second. So right now, I have a ton of art supplies beside me, and I've got way more in my art room. The problem is we're having a heat wave, and my art room has no air conditioner in it, and it gets really hot. Um, so even with the fan, I have asthma. I can't breathe in there on hot days at all. So I've been doing a lot of art in my room. I bought that giant desk that fits on my bed. And I have this, um, like this, it's like a pillow headboard behind me. So I'm like not lying down. I'm always sitting up and doing stuff. But I brought in my smaller little Derwent packages um, of paint with me. Not packages, like they're not tins because they're plastic. I don't know what to call them. Paint boxes. So I've got three sets of these Derwent paint palettes. Um, they break them up into palette number one. So I have palette number one, and I have palette number two, and I have the graphitin. So here is the pocket palette number two. You can see I've been using them. 
I've been really enjoying them. And I really love these graphitant ones. And I even made my own swatch for this one. Because the colors look a little bit different than they do here. So anyway, I love my graphitants. But I've got all of this stuff uh, piled up next to me, including other things. Like I've got water brushes, I've got my water soluble sketching from Derwent and my tinted watercolor um, pencils from Stadler. I've got my Windsor and Newton um, field sketch kit here. And I've got these vintage, um, these are just from Timu. I, I just pulled them out yesterday because I want to do a swatching with these before I try them. These are glitter paints. I don't know how well they're going to work. And I have my core watercolors here that I got for $12 on Amazon. So I don't think they're all going to fit here. But even if I could fit a lot of them in the bag, it will take a lot of pressure off of having stuff just hanging out next to my bed on my on my little corner table. So let's see. I can get the Secure Koi in there. I can get the Windsor & Newton. I can get all three Derwent in there. And I don't know if I can get my tinted pencils. I don't really use these so they don't have to go in. I just wanted to test these out again. And um, if I were to take these out of the container, they would fit in here. Let's see if they'll fit like that. Oh yeah, look at that. I have just made a much less of a mess. Now, I could probably fit the vintage ones in there too. But, um, oh yeah, easy. So you guys, this holds a lot. So now all of the stuff that I've been using during World Watercolor Month is neat beside my, uh, my bed on my little table, my little side table. That is awesome. Now last year I ordered another one of these. That was, um, the one I ordered last year was the one that was designed by Doodle Wash. It just had World Watercolor Month 2023, found it by Doodle Wash, and there was a picture of some paint pans and some pens, and I was really excited. But it came while I was away at camp in August, so my neighbor picked it up for me out of my mailbox. She opened it, and then when my parents came home, she brought it over with a bunch of newspapers. Um, my parents always share the flyers. They're, they're old school and they like the coupons and the flyers and the prices. So she brought them all over and because it was just in a little envelope like this, I think my mom thought it was garbage and threw it away. So my neighbor swears she brought it over. My mom swears she did not throw it away, but it's missing. So I, I don't have my 2023 one, unfortunately. So I ordered it again for 2024. I, I'm kind of sad that I didn't have my 2023 one because my idea was that I would order something every year that I do this. And I, I thought that would be really nice. But, um, and that eventually I could put my sketchbooks from that year in there. And it would be a nice way to hold them. So, but you know what? It was very expensive living in Canada ordering these. Because even though it was only $14.99 Canadian, I mean American, that is... Alexa, how much is $15 American in Canadian money? 15 U.S. dollars is about 20 Canadian dollars and 41 cents. So this is about $20 Canadian, right? Which still isn't that bad. Um, it's more than I would pay because I could buy, like locally, because I could buy containers like this at the dollar store for $4, but they're not nearly as pretty. They don't have, they don't have like artwork on them. I mean, this is beautiful artwork by Diane Antone. I'm very happy to have some of her art in my house. I really like this artist. But um, the, the, the shipping to Canada is quite high. So, yeah, if you're in America and you order these, you're going to get a really good deal because the prices are good and the shipping's not bad. If you're Canadian, unfortunately, our, our shipping is crazy in Canada. So, yeah, I, it, if it wasn't so expensive, I think this came to over almost $40 Canadian, including the shipping, which is just crazy to me. But um, if it wasn't so expensive, I would try to go back and order one of the 2023 ones if they still had one just to replace the one that I'm pretty sure got thrown out because it's so small in this envelope that I, I think 
my family would have just thought it was garbage and thrown it out, unfortunately. So yeah, so I, I missed out on that. But I'm so happy that I have this. It's really pretty. I, I really love the way it looks. And I wasn't expecting it to be so big. I'm so glad I went with the black. I mean, I'm so glad I went with the large. And also, you could choose whether you want a white zipper or a black zipper. And I thought the black zipper would look nicer because there's black in this painting. And I gotta go see on, on uh, Diane's channel if she has a tutorial for making these because I love bees and butterflies and dragonflies and flowers and this is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, some of the money that you spend here, I believe, goes to charity. The whole doodle watch thing for the World Watercolor Month, yeah, all of the money goes to charity. So I don't, except for like the shipping, Canada. But anyway, 100% of profits to everything they sell goes to the International Child Art Foundation. So every year that I do Doodle Wash um, World Watercolor Month, I do want to buy something. And then the money goes to the International Child Art Foundation. Because they're trying to make sure that children don't get left behind. You know how when you're a child, you love drawing, you love art, and then as you get older, you kind of stop? They're trying to make sure it doesn't stop and that children get involved with art all through their whole childhoods. So I think that's an amazing thing because when I was a little girl, I did not have any art supplies, neither did my neighbor. Um, we would get like a, a package of crayons at the beginning of the school year or maybe some pencil crayons. or, But we, my, my mother wouldn't buy paper or markers, so we were always just drawing on the bags and envelopes. And it was just we never had paint or anything fun. So I always wanted art. I was always interested in art. But our mothers were like, well, you can do that at school. What do you need to do that at home? And we both had mothers that really hate mess. They were stay-at-home moms. Well, my mom was. And uh, they just wanted the house super clean all the time. So they didn't want mess. So we weren't allowed to paint or use really markers because markers could leave a mess too. So, yeah. So I think that this um, charity, this International Child Art Foundation, I hope some of it is going to children who have parents who just don't want them to have art materials because they think it's too messy. <laughs> anyway, I went off on a tangent like I usually do. If you're used to this channel, you know that I do that sometime. And if you're not used to that channel, I apologize. Um, you can always fast forward or click to the end. So now we're at the end, and I really love this, and I hope you like it too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of those good things that help me as a channel. And, and most importantly of all, take care, stay safe, and happy crafting. Bye, guys.